The Detroit Auto Show was pretty quiet this year, with no big surprises or supercars to speak of. Really, the focus of this year's show seemed to be on production cars that real people actually buy, and a few of the reveals were pretty significant. So here are the top 5 most important production car reveals from the 2017 Detroit Auto Show. At number 5, the Nissan Rogue Sport, which is called the Qashqai in Europe and in Canada, is not the most exciting product, but it will probably be an easy sell for Nissan. It's a compact urban crossover that is meant to slot in between the Juke and the Rogue, and it promises sporty driving dynamics and affordability. At number 4, we have the new Volkswagen Tiguan. People have been asking for a three-row Volkswagen SUV for some time, and now all of a sudden there are two to choose from. You can go for the full-size Atlas SUV or for the new Tiguan, which now has a third row as an option. That's because the new Tiguan debuted with a longer wheelbase that makes it possible for three rows of seats and 57% more cargo capacity. The design is typical Volkswagen and somewhat conservative, but the crossover does get new technology and VW's smooth and refined 2.0-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder engine. At number 3 we have the 2018 Ford F-150, and the popular truck got a pretty big refresh for this model year. Although on the outside the changes aren't that noticeable, the big news is that for the first time ever, the F-150 will receive a diesel engine. It's going to be a 3 liter turbocharged unit, although Ford has not released any specs on the engine just yet. Besides that, all of the F-150's engines are being revised and hooked up to a new 10-speed automatic transmission. Plus, new driver assistance and safety technology has arrived for Ford's best-selling pickup. At number 2 we have the 2018 Toyota Camry, and naturally for Toyota this is a very important model. Although it will still certainly be a reliable and affordable family sedan, Toyota has tried to inject some personality into the Camry by giving it an aggressive new look and sportier driving dynamics. The redesign does seem to have people split, but we imagine Toyota will continue to sell loads of Camrys. And coming in at number one is the all-new rear-wheel drive sports sedan from Kia, the Stinger. Although we all knew it was coming, it was great to see the production car debut with so much style. This new Kia has serious potential to be a great sports sedan, with the top trim model receiving a twin-turbo V6 making about 365 horsepower. Besides that, we love its sportback styling reminiscent of the Audi A7. Kia executives also got us excited because they said you can turn off all the traction nannies and drift the rear wheel drive stinger which is awesome for a Kia. For Kia this is really their first foray into this market so good luck. And that's all from Detroit, make sure to subscribe to see all of autoguide.com's auto show coverage.